Hi, I'm Andy Webb from BeCleverWithYourCash.com. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. They're released every single week with me sharing some of my favorite ways to get the best value for money. Now, what I want to talk to you about this week is one of my all-time favorites, something that's made me a decent amount of cash that I wouldn't have got if I wasn't aware of these sites, and it's cashback, okay? Cashback sites, money that I earn just by doing my normal shopping, and it is well worth it. Over the last six years, that's how long I've been using the main two sites, I've made £4,064. Okay, that is money, four grand, that I wouldn't have if I just shopped as normal and not used these cashback sites. So in this video, I'll explain how they work, the things you need to be aware of, and a few ways to boost how much you can get as well. Right, cashback sites. Now, I'm gonna go back to basics here, so if you've never heard of them, you understand what they are, and then I'll get into a little bit more detail as we go along with the video. So essentially, there are two key cashback sites, okay? There's Quidco and there's Top Cashback. There are others, but personally, I just stick to Quidco and Top Cashback. Now, some of these other ones, these newer ones, they have things where you can win your cashback, uh, the whole purchase price back, or other kind sort of fun features, trying to make it a little bit different. At the moment, I wouldn't use them. They could later on become something that's you know challenging. Quidco and Top Cashback, uh, but others have tried. One was called TBC, and that failed. Okay, it's a very difficult market to break into because these two are the giants. But the reason they're the giants is because they are good. Okay, and I only talk about stuff that I use that I can vouch for that I think are worth you looking at. Okay, so these are the top two to think about: Top Cashback and Quidco. Now, the way they work is very, very, very simple. You go to them, you sign up, you register, and I'll talk about registering them in a minute, how you can get a bonus deal. You register for the site, uh, and essentially then it's kind of like a, a, a shop window to all the other shops, okay, all the other online retailers. There are thousands and thousands of online shops within their own kind of uh, websites, okay? So uh, you could search for, let's say, Marks & Spencers, okay? You would type Marks & Spencers in the search bar, and up would pop, if it's on there, and Mark Spencer's always is, it will pop up with Mark Spencer's, and it may well have a list of different um, cashback prices, a percentage a lot of the time. So uh, you might get two percent back if you shop on clothes. Maybe you'll get four percent back if you're a new customer. Okay, you click on that tab, and it takes you through to the Mark Spencer's website. So that's all you have to do is you basically, rather than go straight to the Mark Spencer's website, all you would do is you would go to the cashback site. Click through, choose a retailer you want, click through, and as long as you fulfill the terms and conditions, and we're more on that in a bit, long as you fulfill the terms and conditions, uh, you then just shop as you normally would. So let's say you want to buy, I don't know, Marks and Spencer's some slippers, right, for Christmas or something like that. You say the slippers are £10, and let's say the cashback is 10%, just for sake of argument, uh, then you will, once you complete your purchase as you normally would, yeah, you buy it as normal, get it delivered, pick it up in store, however it might be, you will then get some money credited back, 10% credit back, so a pound to your cashback site. And that all adds up over time. Now, often the percentages are a lot smaller, uh, and it's small amounts of cashback that you get. But if you do this all the time, it can very, 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 very quickly add up. And I will get into, into details in a moment of some of the bigger payouts where you can potentially get £100 cash back just from a normal purchase. But it's a very, very simple process. So how, how are they doing this? What's the catch? I mean, this is weird. Why are they giving you free money? Well, actually, this is how most websites now work in terms of generating revenue. And it's called affiliate marketing. Okay, the idea is that the brand, in this instance, Marks & Spencer's, could be Tesco, could be Topshop, could be anyone it might be, right? The brand has a certain amount of their marketing budget, their advertising budget set aside. Now, normally that would have been spent on TV ads, radio ads, billboards, things like that. Instead, this money is put aside and it's used to basically just promote, trying to get us to shop with them online. Um, now, you see it used by uh, voucher websites. They use exactly the same thing, whereas they give you like a maybe a voucher code that gives you money off at the till. At cashback sites, it's, it's worked slightly different, but it's the same method. So... Um, let's say I've made a purchase, I bought those slippers at Marks & Spencer's. Marks & Spencer's have got my sale, they've got my money. They will then send a percentage of that sale to the cashback site. The cashback site then send back to you either all of that cashback or a percentage of that cashback. Now, both Quidco and Top Cashback do pay out the vast majority of the money they're paid. 
and they tend to make their money, uh, the, well, the rest of their money, the bulk of their money, maybe through uh, added incentives. So brands might pay to be featured on the home page of the cashback site. You know, if you, when you do go to the website, you'll see certain pages, like certain deals, which are like front and center, um, and they're often paid for and other things like that. But the most of the time, the brand has got some of its advertising money, its marketing money, it is paying the cashback site, and they are then paying you. So it's kind of win-win in lots of ways. As long as you're, this is shopping that you're going to do anyway, you are getting money for essentially for nothing, okay? It is a fantastic way to make some extra cash. And, and as I said, you know, over the last six years, so I started using this in, uh, in autumn 2013, I have made over £4,000. Now that works out at uh, about 670 odd quid every single year. Now, actually, as it happens, there will be some years where I've made more money, some years where it's been a bit quieter. But it just shows you this is well worth using these websites to make a bit of cash. And then it's so, so simple. You are literally just in one extra step in your shopping process by going to that cashback site, typing in the shop, and then clicking through. Now, it is simple. I promise you it's simple, but there are a few things you need to think about when you do this, a few things to be aware of. Now, one of them is tracking, okay? Because the retailer needs to know that you have come from the cashback site in order to give the cashback site the money to give it back to you. If for some reason, it's not your last click, so you've gone, so you've opened it up via the cashback site, um, but then you've kind of gone off and then you've clicked on it and then you've Googled it. Well, the last click was from Google. Even if you, you went from the cashback site, the last click's from Google. So the cashback site won't get the money and you won't get the money. Likewise, sometimes this tracking goes wrong if you've already got a page open uh, from that retailer because you might have been doing a bit of price research first of all, find out the best place to buy something. That's what I did quite a lot. Um, found right, okay, I want to buy it at that shop um, and then gone to the cashback site to see if there's cashback available. Now, again, if you haven't closed down that window in your browser, there's a risk that it won't track. Okay, so you have to be very careful of that. If it doesn't track, you won't get your money. There's also a risk you won't get your money uh, for other tracking reasons, which are just unfathomable. I've had this happen to me on a number of occasions. It's a small number, okay? Yeah, most of the time it tracks perfectly well, uh, but sometimes there's just a problem and it doesn't register that you've, one, clicked through to the website or that you came via the cashback site in that first place. And this is really, really, really frustrating. And that's where kind of I guess the, the moral comes with, with cashback sites that you really need to sort of be aware of only use them for stuff you're going to buy anyway and consider it as an extra saving, right? It's really, really potentially quite risky to buy something because of the cashback saving. And that can be really tempting because sometimes there are promotions which give you uh, like a, you know, a, a, an extra, you know, a really big discount on something. You think, well, it's worth buying it with that cashback, with that 10% off, that 15% off, whatever it is, that five pounds back and make it worthwhile. But if the cashback doesn't track, then you ended up paying full price for something. Potentially, you've ended up paying more than you would at a different retailer who had a lower price but didn't have the cashback or had a smaller amount of cashback. So you do have to be really careful of that and never see it as guaranteed. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen sometimes. If it does happen, there are some things you can do. You can put in a claim, um, but another issue with cashback, which makes the claim a bit difficult, is it can take a long time not all the time, but depending on the retailer, it can take a long time for that sale to register and track. So it might look like it hasn't tracked. It might look like it's tracked at a smaller amount, um, but it doesn't always appear at the right amount at the right time for weeks, sometimes months, okay? So sometimes you can't put in this claim for a month, two months, three months, okay? But how can you remember quite what you bought. We've shopped so much online now, don't we? You know, that it's not like, oh, I bought that one thing. It's like, well, I bought this, I bought this, I bought that. Uh, what shops, are, you know, it can get a bit confusing. Now, if you're doing it a lot and you want to be really kind of on this to make sure this doesn't happen, you can keep track. I tried this for a while. I had a kind of a Google sheet open on my computer. Whenever I shopped with a cashback site, I would type in what I bought, where I bought it from, and the date and the cashback that I was expecting because those rates do change on a regular basis. Um, and then I would make sure that the money came through did match that. I've kind of got a bit slack at that recently. I haven't done it for a while. Probably should pick that up again. I guess though, it does depend how often you are buying stuff online. But every time you do it, 
if you can keep track, great. If not, just be aware that it might register. Uh, it might not register at all. It might register at the wrong amount or it might just get rejected for a bizarre reason. But again, re I emphasize again, that doesn't happen very often. As I showed you, know, I've made four grand in six years by using Quidco and Top Cashback. That's a lot of money, not taking into account the fact that some of the things didn't work out. That is a lot of money. So you should really absolutely do this. So who can you get cash back with? Well, there are all sorts of retailers uh, on there, are literally thousands. Um, and how much you can get from them does depend week to week, site to site. And I should use both of them pretty evenly, I guess. One week I might use Quidco, one week I might use Top Cashback. I really tend to go with whoever's given me the best, the highest amount of cash back, whatever that might be. And sometimes this is, is fantastic. Now, the there are small ones which do add up, like I said, it's worth doing it, whether it's your boots or um, ASOS, whoever it might be, you know, whatever shops you do online, get your cash back, get the highest rate you can from the two sites, and those little things do add up. But there are some products which give you a big, big, big amount of cash, and I think a lot of my money, particularly in the early years, was made up from, from these. Now, I'm talking here about broadband, talking about pay TV, I'm talking about mobile phones. Now, these providers, they know that if they get your business you're likely to stay and you're likely to kind of spend a lot of money over the years. You know, unless you're someone like me who does switch all the time. Well, I go for the best deal. That normally involves switching, but if the best deal is staying, I'll stay. But you get what I'm saying, right? They know you'll stay. Therefore, the amount of money they have in that marketing budget, which they'll pay to the cashback site and pay through to you at the end, can easily be 100, 200 quid. Seriously, you can get at times with those big broadband and TV bundles, you could get 200 quid back. Now, that might not be the best deal, right? You might be able to get a better deal elsewhere without the cashback. Um, and again, you can't always rely on the cashback. So it can be a risk. So I do think it's worth bearing in mind that if for some reason the cashback fails, that you're happy to pay that monthly price you're paying, the contract you're tying yourself in for, because often the more you know, the higher the amount of cash back you get in, the more you're paying every month for your broadband, your TV, your mobile phone, whatever it might be. Now, but they can pay out very big every single year. Now, the reason I was saying I haven't had that, those kind of cash back payouts for quite a while now is because I've changed how I use those services. So for example, I went SIM only with my mobile phone. I've done that for the last three or four years. And that means that the cash back is, is relatively small, if anything at all. Um, so the money there is in the contract when you're getting the handset and the SIM together in one. Now, sometimes that cash back is big enough to make it pretty reasonable. But even so, most of the time, I think you're better off buying your handset separately and getting your SIM only deal, I think. But, but do check out those cash back offers. Likewise, pay TV. I've not had Sky or Virgin TV for a long, long, long time now because I use Now TV. Again, I've spoken about that before on the podcast and in my videos and on the blog. Now TV reduces the cost from 20, 30 quid a month for your Sky TV channels down to around a fiver, if not less, if I've got special offers and tricks to, to bring down the price. And even with broadband, I do use cashback sites. I do get money back from my broadband. Um, but a lot of those bundles now, they're about getting it with your mobile phone, getting it with your TV uh, at the same time to get those decent payouts. But definitely have a look. And what's great about it, a lot of the time you could combine it with other new customer offers. So let's say it's British Telecom, BT, cash back, 90 quid for switching over. And when you go look at the click through to the BT site, there might be a prepaid MasterCard reward as well. There might be a free Echo speaker or whatever it might be, different promotional offers that they do. So you're getting double that discount as a new customer. So they, they are big ways every year to boost how much you can get on a cashback site. Someone else to think about, or also another area to think about, which has been pretty good for me over the years, is holidays. Now, it's difficult to get much on flights, maybe 1%, 2%. But because flights can be quite expensive, that easily could get into double figures. But where you can really get a lovely saving is on hotels. Now, you can often get 4% say at booking.com but on one of the two sites, three or 4%. Um, but where I often get the biggest cash back is at Expedia. And quite often uh, the rate is, is um, lifted up to 10 or 11% if you stay for a couple of nights in a row. Now, again, make sure with everything you buy that you're getting the best price you possibly can before you get the cash back. Um, but, but I've had a few occasions, particularly recently, where Expedia has not only been the same price or the cheapest price of all the hotels I was looking at, all the different booking sites, but had that 11% cash back. And that really can quickly add up. So there are lots and lots of ways to get 
the the money lots of different places to think of, of, of shopping for cash back which really 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 can bring you those annual rewards now there are some ways to boost how much cash back you get as well now the first one of these it's very, very simple. If you are a new customer, if you have never used a cashback site before, is you've got to look for a special new member bonus. They all do it. Cashback and uh, Top Cashback and Quidco both offer these new member bonuses. Now you're looking at maybe five pounds, ten pounds as a kind of a generic fee. Uh, potentially, sometimes it might be a specific product. So. Uh, have, order a takeout from Just Eat this weekend and we'll give you £15 back, something like that. Okay, But you've got to spend £15 at Just Eat to get that 15 quid. These are well worth doing. The best ones, though, are those generic ones, I think, because you can shop anywhere. Now, I've got a couple of exclusive ones. At the time of recording this, you can get £17 at Quidco when you spend £10 at any of the retailers. You will not be able to beat that anywhere. That is an exclusive deal that I have uh, for anyone who signs up to the Be Clever With Your Cash newsletter. So go to becleverwithyourcash.com forward slash newsletter, sign up for my weekly newsletter, and the first email that you're going to get will be that code to get you that £17 bonus as a new customer at Quidco. Okay, you've got not, you can't have had an account anywhere else before. Okay, then you shop through, spend £10, and you'll get that £17 bonus on top of whatever cashback you would have earned. Okay, so that's a great way to really maximize your cashback. Similarly, Top Cashback has similar offers. Over on the blog, I've got a deal where you can spend £10 and get £10 back. So basically, you get a free tenner to spend on any of those kind of retailers that are listed there. Um, but again, you can look for different offers, different special deals. I'll link to them uh, below this in the show notes so you can click through straight away and get that information. So that's a great way to boost your uh, cash back the first time you use it. Existing customers also occasionally get extra bonuses. Now these happen, sometimes they're targeted. So you might look out for email that comes through and says, uh, you, you've been selected for this offer. Sometimes they're for everyone and they happen just for one day or for two days. And these are often the kind of thing where it's spend a tenner, get an extra £2.50 back as a bonus. Uh, and sometimes there are criteria uh, added to that. So it might be that you have to spend it in travel, uh, brands. You know, sometimes you might have to spend it at supermarket brands, uh, but often it's just generic. Here's a lovely little freebie, a little bonus, uh, just often I think to remind you to use them. So keep an eye out for those ones. They're nice little ways to get a little bit of extra cash over the year. Probably happens once a month, twice a month, and sometimes it can be as little as two quid. Sometimes it could be a fiver. It really does depend. So they are some great little extra little bonuses to kickstart, um, but there are also ways to get an extra bonus on top of all the cash back that you earn. Now, the way for most of you to do this uh, is rather than get a payout to your bank account, uh, which is just say you've earned 20 quid, there's 20 quid that's finally, maybe after a year, come to your account and you send it through, okay? Easy. If instead you choose to pay it out as a gift card, okay? Often these are, these are digital gift cards rather than physical ones. If you choose to get it paid out as a gift card, you can get a boost. Now, how much of a boost you get depends on the brand, on the retailer, which gift card you select. Now, there are some of those uh, multi-shop brands that you can choose where you can use it at lots of different places, or perhaps you can choose uh, just one or another. Uh, it could be uh, Uber, uh, it could be uh, Starbucks, it could be uh, you know, lots of different places. Now, this is what I tend to do. With the caveat, which I always say about gift cards, is make sure you spend it quickly. Because there's a, da there's a few dangers with gift cards. One, you forget you've got it, right? And it sits in the back of the drawer. Well, these ones are digital, so you forget it sits in your digital wallet or your email and never gets used. Two, they can expire. Sometimes they're only valid for a month, uh, sorry, 12 months or 24 months, and they disappear. Any money on there is gone if you don't use it. Or finally, if that retailer goes bust, if it goes under, then that any money you've got on that gift card can disappear. So it, they are risky, but if you know you're gonna spend some money, often it's worth maybe paying that money out, getting that gift card, just before you want to shop at that retailer, give yourself two or three days. It's not always instantaneous. Um, then that is a great way to get potentially, uh, sometimes it's just two and a half, five percent more. Sometimes it can be 20, 25 percent more. Although I would say the ones that offer you 20, 25 percent more, they're not always the, you know, the strongest retailers. So that's a great way that you can all, if you've got a cash back uh, an account, you can boost your return. Now you can boost that even more if you choose to go for a premium account. Now, both Top Cashback and Quidco charge £5 for this premium account. That £5 is taken out of the money you earn in cashback. So if, like me, you do like to shop around for the best rate and choose one or the other, 
Well, you don't necessarily want to have that premium account with both of them unless you know it's going to be quite an even split because it could well be if you end up paying five pounds at both but use one the majority of the time, that second five pounds is probably a little bit wasted. You're unlikely to maybe get that money back. But the reason you do this, well, you might get a little bit extra cash uh, in your normal uh, cash back. Top cash back does this. So uh, you might get, if it, rather than 10%, you might get 11% or rather than 1%, you might get 1.25%, something like that. So they do often boost the cash back rates uh, if you're a, a, a premium member. Uh, with both of them, premium members, when they do that switch to uh, as a, on a payout to a, a gift card, then they would also get that little bit extra uh, cash as well and boost that rating. Not on every single brand, but a lot of the time you can do this. So Personally, the amount I use cashback sites, I think it's well worth doing it. You might only want to do it at one of them. Uh, and maybe it's after a while. You work out which one you like the best, right? Maybe to give them both a try, get an opening bonus, the new member bonus at both of them. And then keep on uh, using them until you decide which one you like the best and going premium on that. Now, one way actually, you know, to, to do to help you actually choose between uh, which one you want to go with, rather than shopping on, all the, you know, going looking on one website and then looking on the other to look compare the rates, you can get pl um, browser plugins uh, for both of them, Top Cashback and Quidco for Chrome, potentially some other browsers. Uh, which, when you go to a shop, it pops up and says you can get this much in cashback. I find them a little bit annoying, but they are nice little reminders if you, while you're getting into the habit of using a site uh, to make sure that you know, yes, I need to click through and get that extra cashback. So good luck with it. Remember, I will put in the notes how you more information about how they work, but also how you can get those new member bonuses at the moment at the time of recording up to £17 free from Quidco and £10 from Top Cashback. That's potentially £27 of free spending you've got uh, before you take into account all the extra money you're going to get. And like I said, I've made over £4,000 in the last six years from those two sites. So hopefully you can do something similar. Thank you so much for watching. As I said, I'm Andy Webb from BeCleverWithYourCash.com. Uh, do like, share, uh, write a comment so I know exactly what you thought of this video. Uh, until next time, cheers.